What's up my peeps, I'm here with part 2 of my simulation and prediction for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship ladder match that is going to take place this Sunday at Money in the Bank. Uh, it is going to be John Cena versus Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns versus Kane versus Cesaro versus Sheamus versus Bray Wyatt and Alberto Del Rio. Now, since I am simulating this using WWE 2K14, uh, there is a limit of six players, of six, you know, a match involving six superstars. Uh, so what I did is I took out Del Rio and Sheamus, who uh, I think are the least likely to win the match this Sunday. But, despite that, I'm going to go over every single superstar in this match and uh, give you guys the reasons why I think they, they might or might not win the match. Um, so, let's get started with, uh, first off, Cesaro. Now, when it comes to Cesaro, I initially thought he was going to be in a Money the Bank ladder match. Match for the briefcase, for the contract, and I thought he would win that match. He would become, you know, the 2014 Money the Bank winner. But, instead, he's not in that match. He's in the ladder match for the championship. So now it changes things. While I thought Cesaro was going to win before, uh, now that it's not the same prize, he's not fighting for the same thing, I don't think Cesaro is going to win the match anymore. Now, I don't think Ces I do think Cesaro though has like a higher chance than let's say um, Sheamus and Del Rio, but I still I don't see him picking up the win here uh, simply because. I don't see him winning the championship this soon, especially looking at the potential feuds and uh, matches going into SummerSlam. Uh, like, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, and I think most most of you also uh, are predicting that Brock Lesnar will probably challenge for the championship come time for SummerSlam, especially after a big victory over, you know, somebody like The Undertaker at WrestleMania being the person that broke the streak. It only makes sense for Brock to then chase the championship. And while I do know that there were some rumors before about, you know, a potential feud be between Cesaro and Brock Lesnar, the two current Paul Heyman guys, you know, those rumors talked about possibly Cesaro being the Money in the Bank winner and cashing in on Brock Lesnar, who would win the championship off of somebody else. So like I said, with Cesaro no longer being, and not just not being in uh, you know, the actual Money in the Bank match, I don't think, you know, we're going to see Cesaro win the championship and defend the championship against, you know, Brock Lesnar at, at SummerSlam. Uh, so, yeah, as far as Cesaro, I don't think, you know, he doesn't have, like, I don't think his chances are, you know, slim to none, but I think his chances are pretty low. Now, moving on to Randy Orton. So, Randy... He was, a, he was the first, you know, WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And he actually won, uh, not exactly a ladder match, but a TLC match. You know, he also climbed the ladder and, you know, grabbed the grabbed the championships. And before Brian, he was a champion. Um, I don't think Randy's going to win the championship either. Uh, I'd say actually Randy's chances, I feel, are probably lower than Cesaro's chances. Of winning the title because it wasn't too long ago that he was champ uh, he was just the champion and lost you know to Daniel Bryan at Wrestlemania so for for Randy to win it it just feels like you know like going backwards like he you know like redoing the whole uh, you know Randy as a champion and Randy with the authority it would almost feel like we were back to before Wrestlemania when Randy was a champion again uh, so I just cannot picture Randy uh, winning the title this Sunday at Money in the Bank. Now, moving on to Bray Wyatt. You know, um, as far as Bray Wyatt goes, I think his chances are decent, but again, Bray Wyatt is a heel. And I'm thinking Brock Lesnar is going to challenge for the championship at SummerSlam, so... Bray Wyatt defending the title against Brock Lesnar, once again, it doesn't make sense. You know, these two heel superstars facing off against each other in, like, the main event of SummerSlam uh, for the title, it, it's not going to happen. So, um, moving on, we've got uh, Kane. 
Now, Kane, actually, I think his chances uh, are better than, like, Cesaro's and Randy's. I know on SmackDown, Kane helped Randy climb up the ladder and grab the titles, but at Money in the Bank, we could see something else. We could see Kane actually going for the championships uh, himself. And Kane winning the championships would actually make sense on one condition. And that is if Daniel Bryan is cleared to compete, like for Battleground or maybe even SummerSlam. But, but if that is the case, then I don't see it being Kane versus Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. Instead, what I'm thinking... What I'm picturing is Kane wins the championships. He's the you know he's the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and then Daniel Bryan he returns at Battleground or SummerSlam. And seeing as how Kane was the one to, you know to hit him with all these tombstone pile drivers on the announcers table on the floor, you know on the steel steps and all that, and afterwards even after Daniel Bryan announces his injury. You know, Kane drags him on the stage, he attacked him backstage. You know, it's it only makes sense for Daniel Bryan when he comes back to go after Kane. And it makes even more sense if Kane is a champion. So then it all it, it all matches perfectly where you have Daniel Bryan coming back and you know invoking his rematch clause or challenging for the championship once again, this time against Kane. Uh you know, trying to get some payback against Kane. They have like a stretcher match, or well, they, they just had a stretcher match. You know, Kane versus John Cena. So that 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 would probably not happen. But you could have like Kane versus Daniel Bryan in a buried alive match or something, and Daniel Bryan wins back the championship. If it happens like at Battleground, then you could have Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar for the title at SummerSlam. So, I think Kane's chances, if Daniel Bryan is clear to compete sooner than sooner than later, then maybe Kane's chances aren't all that bad. But despite that, I feel as if Kane's chances, not only Kane, but almost everybody in this match chances uh, don't compare to John Cena and Roman Reigns' chances of picking up the win. So moving on to Alberto Del Rio, who I'd say is at least likely to pick up the win this Sunday. Because for one, he initially qualified for the Money in the Bank. He was the first to qualify for the Money in the Bank lot of match. And then, afterwards, when Daniel Bryan was announced, you know, um, or was shipped of the championship, they switched the Money in the Bank lot of match into the WWE World Heavyweight Championship lot of match. And at that time, they had to announce a second lot of match. So because of that, they, because of Del Rio being, you know, the first one to qualify for the previous ladder match, he was, like, automatically entered into the championship ladder match. And I'm thinking that might be, you know, the only reason why he's in this match. And also, you know, there's these rumors that Del Rio is going to be leaving soon, that his contract's expiring, and once it does, that he's not going to resign or he's going to leave. So, you know, if that's the case, then he's definitely not winning the championship. And, you know, uh, if you look at Del Rio's, uh, how Del Rio's been doing since, you know, losing the championship to John Cena, uh, you know, he hasn't been doing all that well compared to, you know, what he was doing before, winning, you know, a bunch of championships and being in the main event scene, uh, like m most pay-per-views. And when it comes to Sheamus, I just see him staying in the US title picture for a little while longer, especially since he just recently won it. Now, Roman Reigns, I think his chances are pretty good, but the thing is, uh, he's had the momentum, he's had the most momentum out of all these superstars, and pretty much every single show since he's been announced or, you know, qualified for the match, he's cl closed out the show or you know, stood tall over the authority and anyone standing in front of him. So, you know, because of him getting the momentum every, like, every single week, I don't think he's going to be the one to, you know, win the championship. Especially because most of the momentum and focus has been on Reigns, so it just seems like, you know, it, it would be too obvious. Uh, so, you know, as far as John Cena goes, he's my pick. And John, John Cena is always the safe pick, and also, out of all these superstars, he seems the most likely uh, to take on or defend the championship against Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. They already had a match at Extreme Rules, but it was on title, so SummerSlam, we could see a title match between the two. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you can click that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And I'm out. See you guys.